This is Luke Egoff with McDonald Volkswagen here to show you the RNS 315 navigation radio system. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on here so we can see what we're looking at. We have six functions here basically band, media, phone, nav, mute, and setup. I'm going to go through each of these so I can explain how the system works. The first button, band, is going to let us switch between FM, AM, and satellite radio. You just select in between the three functions by hitting the band button. And then when we're on the screen, we have a touch screen here that lets you go in between stations, or if you want to go in between presets, you just select presets, and it goes in between presets. Now one thing that's going to be important is to set up these presets. So for instance, we're on satellite radio now. So if we want to tune satellite radio stations, we hit options, tune, and then the dial in the center is used to tune from station to station. You'll see it doesn't move in between the presets when we're on that function. If you want to get more information on what channels are available, for instance, on Sirius, hit station list, and it's going to produce a list of all the stations that are available. If we want to narrow it down a little bit further, we can hit the categories button, and then it'll break it down by category. I'm going to go ahead and select pop. It's going to limit it to all the pop stations. And for instance, I really like the 80s music, so I'm going to select 80s. Then I'm going to go back to band, and then I'll hit options, presets, and then I'll select preset 1. Press and hold for 3 seconds, and then it'll save it as a preset on that individual circle. Now if I go back to band and switch to FM, again, I go to options, tune, to tune in between stations, and I'm going to look for 93.3, and then once 93.3 is selected, then I can go ahead and hit options, presets, and then press and hold which circle I want it to be on, and there I've saved the preset. You can save up to 6 on the main screen, but if you twist the dial you'll see that there's also 7 through 12 available. You can do the same thing with AM and then again back to Sirius Satellite Radio. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pair a cell phone to the RNS 315 system so we can see how that functionality works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my uh, cell phone and we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to Bluetooth and we're going to turn Bluetooth on. Once I've selected Bluetooth on, it's automatically going to search for the car, which comes up as VW phone. As soon as it says uh, that it's available here, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it's going to do a phone request, saying my phone would like to pair. So I'm going to go ahead and select pair. And then on the screen here, I'm going to hit pair. And it's going to say the password is 13701. Let's go ahead back here and check. And that was the same one that was shown on my phone before. And now it's saying the pairing is successful. So now we go ahead and we can put our phone away. And we can just use the screen to use all our phone functionality. Now I can grab this dial in between. Now it's saying my directory has been synchronized on my phone. Now I use the dial in the middle to go in between functions, such as the dial pad, phone book, missed calls, dialed numbers, received calls, and my voicemail. Now I can use this, and I can press in to select whatever functionality. I can hit the go back button to go back to the main menu, or I can just touch right on the screen. For instance, I'm going to select dial pad. And right now I can just dial right here and then it will mute the radio and it will make my call. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's call Tim. He is at 720-277-2042. And then we just hit dial. It mutes the radio. And now we're calling Tim Green. And here is Tim Green. Um, maybe you met him last time you were in. Tim, we're just testing the Bluetooth on the phone. Hi. Hi. I'm going to go ahead and hang up on you now. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. 
So that's one way to dial. Now perhaps that's not the smartest way to go because if you're driving down the road and you uh, need to dial, you're probably not keeping your eyes on the road. So what you can do is hit this microphone button. Main menu. Call Tim Green. Would you like to call Tim Green? Yes. Calling Tim Green. And see, I can place the call all through voice activation, keeping my hands on the road and making the same phone call. Let's see if Tim picks up again. Thanks for calling. This is Tim. See, that's a lot nicer, Tim. We've called you through the hands-free dialing function now. Thanks for answering. You're more than welcome, Luke. All right. Bye-bye. So that's two ways now I've shown you to make a call. The third way would be to go to the phone book, which is this one. So we could just hit phone book and you see yeah, there's my phone book. I can just go right down to Tim Green. There he is right there. And I could just touch him and place the phone call. Now I'm going to go ahead and hang up on him so we don't disturb him again. But that's pretty much at a glance how to use the phone functionality through the RNS 315 system. All right, now that I have an iPhone paired up with the RNS 315, I'm going to show you how you can use your device to listen to music through Bluetooth. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the media button. The media button is going to let you uh, select in between a CD, um, if you've got a hard connection for an iPod, or through Bluetooth. For instance, right now, this is picking up uh, Bruno Mars that's playing on my phone uh, right through Pandora. That's what I'm currently playing on here, and it's just streaming across and playing on the player. There's no need for me to pair my phone, you know, with a hard connection to the RNS 315. It can pick it up all through Bluetooth. Now, at this level, I am using my phone as a controller, so if I want to go to the next available song, I'm going to have to hit the next arrow on my phone rather than hitting anything on this screen. To do a, a hard connection using a cable in between the phone and the RNS 315 would give you more control over your music selections on the screen here. But Bluetooth people find is the most convenient way to do these things. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the navigation functions on the RNS 315. If I hit the key that says nav, it's going to give me my navigation menu. Again, I can use the dial at the bottom to select in between functions, or I can just press right on the screen. The, the available options are to put in an address, an intersection, last destination, memory, a point of interest, or a home address. Let's start by putting in a home address. We'll go ahead and select that. It says no at home address is saved. Yes, we'd like to save one right now. It's going to ask us to either set our current position or enter an address or an intersection. We'll go ahead and enter an address and we're going to go ahead and start with the city. And I'm just going to put in Littleton, L-I, and it's intuitive enough to know that the available selection gets narrowed down with each letter that you type. So it's going to give you an, a selection of uh, cities to choose from. Next I'm going to put in the street and we are on Broadway. So B. R, O, A, and see again it's selected an, a list just based on those first four letters that I put in. So we're going to be Broadway and we're at 6000. So 6000 South Broadway, that's going to be our home address. Let's go ahead and hit save. And then if we hit start, the route is being calculated. Continue following the road for 300 feet. <laughs> and again, we're only 300 feet from our home address, so it's not going to give us very much to go off of as far as directions on how to get there. But you'll see it pulls up a map, gives me a predictive amount of miles from the point, so 0.2 miles away from that home address position, and it's going to give me an idea of what time I'm going to get there. Now looking a little bit further at some of this functionality, I'm going to go ahead and hit stop so it stops that navigation event to our home address, but I'm going to look at how I can put in an address that I'm going to go to. So say I wanted to go to uh, Highlands Ranch, and I'm going to go ahead and put in the zip code. So you can hit this 0 through 9 button, and I'm going to go to 80129, Highlands Ranch, and I'm going to go to 
uh, a street there called Wolf. So W O L. Oh, it's already pulled up Wolf. I'm going to go ahead and hit list and we're going to go to Wolf Drive. And we're going to go to house number 9432. Hit OK. And there's the destination. I hit start. The route is being calculated. And it's going to give me my turn by turn Continue directions. The road for 300 feet. Again, this location is 5.5 miles. Based on our current time of 1428, we'll get there at 1443. Now, if I want to see more of the map and see you know, what's coming up next, I can turn this dial at the bottom and zoom out. And I've got north as an up position here, so it's showing me the horizon up north. But if I want to show some more functionalities for the map, I can hit options. And then let's do a 2D view. And my car is pointed north right now, but if I wanted to, uh, if I were to turn the car now, this arrow is going to turn around. It's going to show me what's coming up next. Now, another way to do this is to hit options and then do an overview map. This is going to show me my current location and the location that I'm going to with a finish line flag shown. So I can kind of get an idea of what's going on along the way. Now you'll also see gas stations plotted out on the map and there will be a little D next to the ones that have diesel gasoline, uh, regular gasoline and diesel fuel as options. That's going to be very important for our TDI owners to know. It's very simple and intuitive. The more you dig into it, the more you get familiar with it. You'll even be able to look up uh, uh, points of interest, which in this case we should be able to find uh, Volkswagen dealerships at as well. And here's a list of Volkswagen dealerships in the area. I don't think you'll want to go to any of the other ones except for McDonald and Volkswagen. The route is being calculated. The RNS 315 system can be customized to each individual user. When you're on the band, say AM, FM, or satellite radio, you can hit setup to get more settings, such as deleting your presets, um, or if you want to go deeper to system settings, you can change things like the keypad display. Um, you can go to a QWERTY keyboard instead of an ABC keyboard. That way it'll be laid out more like a, a typewriter keyboard rather than A through Z listed out. It's a little bit easier to use that way. When you're in the navigation menu, you can hit setup and you can do things like turn up or down the announcement volume. Uh, if I go ahead and select that, root guidance, root guidance. you can turn down how loud that nice lady is that gives you directions. Um, further settings get a little bit deeper in here. Um, you can put points of interest on the map. Um, you can talk about auto zooming at different locations. Um, it gets pretty deep and I encourage you to stop by a Volkswagen dealer if you ever have questions about it. That's it for the RNS 315 and again this is Luke Egoff with McDonald Volkswagen. And please come by and see us if you have any questions.